Today, I'd like to discuss with you some pro tips and tricks for icing stifles in the equine athlete. Now, cryotherapy plays a major role in a lot of my rehab programs, and the thing I'm using it for mostly is pain modulation or helping the athletes feel more comfortable. As we're learning more and more about the field of rehabilitation and strategies to get athletes back to work sooner rather than later, we've learned that early mobilization is key, especially in post-operative recoveries. So instead of letting them sit for long periods of time, we like to mobilize or get them moving as quickly as possible. But if there's pain involved with that, then we have to use strategies on the rehab side of things to help um, diminish that pain and keep them as much in a pain-free state as possible. So I'd like to show you how I actually apply the ice horse stifle wraps. Um, I have kind of little tricks and little things that I do along the way to keep things easy and efficient. So I'd like to go through some of those with you today. So we have our horse here, um, and I actually have the ice wraps already applied onto him, but I'm gonna show you how I would normally um, put these on start to finish. So we'll just kind of unhook this. The first thing that's noteworthy is that I actually keep the wraps connected in between uses. So you can see right here, this is our in the barn pair that looks much more used and abused than our nice new set that we have here but I actually keep them connected like a set of trousers. And each of the wraps are labeled left hind, right hind, so you know what goes where. But when you're in the barn for everyday use, you can simply throw them over and then get started. So you don't have to go through the process of unvelcroing and re-velcroing. And depending on the size of horse that you're using them for and the variation in those sizes of horses, you can actually label which horse, um, which it's fitted to which horse. So for example, we'll have a pair labeled for this particular horse and a pair labeled for that particular horse so that we don't have to actually adjust the size and it's just ready to go every single day. So once I've got them nice and fitted, um, the other thing that I like to note um, is that there's our landing strips on the inside. And this is across all of the ice horse wraps. You've got this nice piece of fabric and this fabric serves to actually anchor the ice or the heat pack that you're gonna use. So we've got our ice packs here and this ice is easily conformable, just pulled it out of the freezer. It's coated in an antimicrobial, um, so everything stays clean, but they can easily be wiped down as well. But you can see with this landing strip, we actually have Velcro straps here and they stick really nicely on the horse. So they're not gonna be falling. Um, it's not gonna be awkward when you go to put it on the horse. And these landing strips you know, are placed um, both for the medial uh, femoral joint and also the femoral patellar joint. So that front joint, the inside joint, the ones that we're most worried about typically um, in injuries. So once I get, um, and the other stifle is already in place, and once I get my ice in place, um, then I actually, again, this is a pretty nice horse if you're doing this for the first time, you always wanna have a handler and be safe and, and not do what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but then I go ahead and get it strapped in, and it's one easy strap, and you're ready to go. And if Julie, if you wanna come up and just kind of show the camera where these ice packs are located, so we've got them nice femoral patellar joint coverage and on the inside as well. The other thing to mention is that for the best fit so they're not sliding or gapping, um, I always make sure that the suspenders are pulled in front um, of the tuber coxy. So this is the actual like kind of hip bone region. But you can see that if we actually pull that back and if it's not seated correctly, then the ice is gonna shift and it's not as comfortable for the horse. Um, and it's just not as good of a fit. So you wanna have that pulled up in front, the anatomy, um, the ice wrap is meant to sit in this location exactly so that it's uh, best anatomic fit. 